Corey Lamley with Live from the Grid, and I want to demonstrate how you can add fixed assets to your website. Because fixed assets are used on less than 10% of all websites, you'll naturally be setting yourself apart. When fixed assets are used correctly, they help provide better navigation and give the aesthetics of your website a different feel from the majority of most websites. Now, we all know content is king when it comes to getting traffic to your website. However, if your site doesn't show well, then you could possibly be losing a good portion of your audience or even a business prospect. I know when I visit a website and I see a fixed item, it usually stands out to me, and my impression meter of the site automatically goes up even before I read the content. However, the important thing to remember is that fixed assets have to be done correctly. It's all about balance and smooth transitions within the content. So with that said, let's go ahead and dive into an example. So let's go ahead and take a look at Twitter here. They do an excellent job of fixed uh, positioning elements. Now you'll notice up here at the top they have a fixed header. So as I begin to scroll through my tweets, you'll see that um, it stays fixed up there at the top. And the reason why this is a great idea is because I don't have to scroll all the way back up to the top to click connect or discover or to do a search. So the content stays relative and everything flows nice and smoothly. They also do on the left hand side over there a fixed background position and this is mostly for aesthetics look but it does give the site you know a nice sharp appeal. So you know there's two different aspects of using fixed positioning. Now the one that I'm really going to go through today is a fixed header and I'm going to show you how I did it on my uh, website. So let's go ahead and jump out to the way the website looked before I added the fixed header. So you'll notice as I begin to scroll through the site, the fixed header obviously is not there and the header just begins to scroll. But in the new layout, as I begin to scroll through, you'll see that the content slowly bleeds through the back and the header stays fixed. And this is obviously um, much easier for users to navigate because um, they don't have to scroll all the way up to the top for any of the navigation menus. Now one of the th drawbacks to fixed elements, especially a fixed navigation, is that you do lose a little bit of real estate. So up here at the top you'll see that probably maybe 150 pixels I'm losing, maybe a little less, um, of real estate because the, the fixed header is taking it up. So a technique that you can use is using uh, transparency or opacity to kind of allow the content to slowly bleed through to the back. So it, it still kind of gives it a, a feel like it's flowing through. And as you can see, you know, all the content here is flowing uh, nice and clean through the back. Um, and you can change that uh, transparency layer to give it a different effect. And we'll show you how to do all of this um, in just a little bit. And um, for a real in-depth detail to all of the code, you can go ahead and check out the article online as I'll be running through this demonstration pretty quickly in the video. Now before we jump into any code, I want to go ahead and show you something that's um, pretty important when working with fixed assets. And if you use any YouTube or Vimeo videos or anything like that, you'll notice that as I begin to scroll over these items, um, there's a, a Vimeo video right there on the right hand side and as I scroll through this YouTube video you can see that uh, it all flows behind the fixed header and this is very important because if you don't add a little snippet of JavaScript um, that I'm going to show you then the videos will actually flow on top so let's go ahead and remove this uh, snippet here really quick we'll save that out and let's go ahead and refresh this and I'll show you really quickly what that looks like. So see that video? See how that's flowing on top? Obviously that looks, you know, pretty unprofessional. So um, there's a small snippet of JavaScript that will actually go through and find those particular videos and set the correct transparency mode on the video so that it'll flow behind. Now the easiest way to begin to isolate and find um, what items you need to set as fixed assets um, the easiest way to do this is to use a DOM inspector and you can right click pretty much anywhere um, in a Chrome browser, click inspect element, you can do the same thing in, in Firefox or IE and then is what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to pinpoint the items that you want to uh, fix. So right here we're looking at div pound header wrapper and we got div pound main top. So is what I need to do is I need to jump back out to my header file and if you're using WordPress you can 
pretty much be guaranteed that 99% of most of your header is going to be in a file called header.php. And so is what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to head and find those two IDs that I mentioned earlier. And then you're going to want to create something uh, called header-fixed, or you can give an ID whatever you want. And you're going to want to place those elements inside of that ID. And then is what you do is you create a style sheet. And the style sheet um, is very important because this is where all the magic happens. So is what you want to do in the style sheet is you want to set your position equal to fixed. And this is what obviously, you know, gives you the fixed effect. Um, in this particular case, I'm setting the top all the way to zero, meaning that it will stay fixed at the top. And I set my margin to auto to center it. And the Z index is important. You want to set this number really high because this is what allows it to stay on top of everything. Now, um, as far as um, the transparency, if you look over here on the very uh, left-hand side, I'm sorry, the right-hand side, you'll see opacity set to 0 0.8. And this is, um, this is really important because this is what really gives that transparent flow. So you can set that to whatever element really needs to have the transparency flow behind it. So setting those elements will give you, you know, the correct look and feel that you're looking for, and you'll have, you know, a nice, clean, fixed header that um, obviously stays at the top and allows the content to flow through nice and smooth. Now, something else you'll want to keep in mind, if you have other fixed assets, like I use the share bar um, right over here on the left-hand side, and um, it is... Um, a nice little widget that you can get um, in the WordPress plugin gallery and it is also a fixed position element but in order for it to work with other fixed elements you have to do a little bit of uh, jQuery manipulation which um, you'll see in the article post on the blog uh, all the all the scripts are there and I just wrote a little script to help keep it um, isolated so that it doesn't run into the other fixed header I also added a little bit of a box shadow inset and down there at the bottom you can see a uh, clean it up a little bit made it look a little bit more um, uh, friendly so um, this is just a quick overview of adding a fixed header to your website um, like I said this this type of effect will help you stand out um, it helps with navigation um, obviously pay attention to how much um, space you're using and um, leave your comments and questions send me an email let me know how the fixed positioning works out for you and um, hope you guys have a great day and enjoy having fixed positioning. Take care.